Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. And when last we left off, my other tanks far more useful than I ever thought they'd be. They can tank a lot of shots. Get it? Because they're tanks. <laughs> uh, never mind. What's more important is that they can deal a lot of damage. And this one has a rocket launcher, which means that we can blow up aliens with it. We managed to take one out. It was a 60 odd percent chance hit, straight on impact, and kapow! One dead alien. We now have other aliens that we can kill, because this tank is revealing them to us. Alright, Deacon, it's time for you to scatter fire. I'm sure 16% one of these is bound to hit. That was one hit. Only one, though, and if we have you fire again, you'll be able to then hide. And a fine hit there. Unfortunately, we weren't able to take you out, but we'll have you hide now. The safety of that building will most certainly never be broken by any shots that accidentally miss the tank and then go through the wall. It's very likely that could happen. Do you have a shot? You have a shot, Barry! Alright, 19%. You can do it. Okay, maybe you can do it. You couldn't do it. Try again! Those are all terrible misses, though. That's unfortunate. Time for you to move away. And it's time for Dr. Grant to move forward. Dr. Grant may be able to get one shot. Maybe one. Or three. Or maybe more than three. Go, Dr. Grant! All of them are terrible. The auto shot may be useful for getting lots of shots off, but it's sort of countered by the fact that you're not really ever going to be hitting with them. Try again, though. And all of them were dreadful. Fortunately, you can turn away and move. Can you get a shot from over here? Probably. Ooh! You can get a shot from over there, though. 18%? Go for it. You have no line of fire. Probably because of all that smoke. Okay, you're just going to move to the corner here. We're going to let the, uh, you could have shot from there, but I doubt you would have actually been able to get a shot because of all that smoke. We don't want to move anyone else out right now, mainly because, uh, everyone is quite safe here. In the smoke. It will go eventually, though. Let's end the turn. And nothing happened? Apart from the fact that that, uh, alien is now gone. No, wait, the alien is right there. The alien did nothing. You know what that means. Deacon, time for you to take a shot. Or five. You're bound to hit eventually. You don't have a line of fire there. What about here? Do you have a line of fire here? Yes, you do! One shot in the back. The alien is gone. There's still another alien around, but that's really to be expected. We do, however, have a route where we can get the tank over to that UFO. So let's do that, making sure that we have enough, uh, things for a snapshot. With a rocket launcher. It's a really small tank, is tanky. But he is very tanky. Get it? Because he's a tank? Aha! <laughs> the tank puns will never stop. We probably want to move you over to here. Just in case there are any more aliens out and about. There might be more aliens out and about. We're gonna put you over here, Dr. Grant. Mainly because we want to move uh, Angel up very slowly. Angel, unlike Awesome Possum, can actually move with that rocket launcher quite capably. Awesome Possum will give uh, Angel some much needed cover, though. We're gonna have you move through the building. And go to here. Sticking together is exceptionally important. Because if you don't stick together, what will happen is inevitably somebody is going to get shot in the face and die. You won't get all the way in, will you? You'll get over to there, that's fine. And you, we're just going to get you to run into here, as far as you can go. There are some people that haven't yet uh, left the Sky Ranger. Well, there's only one, and that's Gaston 2. Gaston 2 will run as fast as Gaston 2 can, because nobody runs through smoke like Gaston. And we'll end the turn. No movement. That tells me that the uh, final alien is within the UFO. I might be wrong. It's not a very big UFO. It's a small scout, which is handy because we want a small scout. Okay, Sadwick, you're just going to run over here. This may be a terrible mistake, but I seem to be doing rather well with the uh, smaller missions where we don't have to take on tons and tons of monsters in a terror situation. What I want to do is I want to get Deacon over here as well. I want to get the rookies involved so that the rookies get kills. The rookies getting kills, quite important. 
That said, there is only one more alien, most likely, because the small scouts only have about four or five aliens in them. You may think four or five aliens isn't that bad, but we have not met the worst type of alien that we can meet. Oh my, have we not! Alright, Nico, you're also going to move up. That is one grenade, by the way, that I really don't want to see thrown. That would be awful. Oh! A shot from over there! Okay, was not expecting that. Was not expecting that at all. Turns out we're going the wrong way, Mr. Tank. You need to go over here. Off you go! Find that alien! Maybe there isn't an alien in the uh, UFO. It's very likely that there's an alien in the UFO. You do not have a light source, so you are going to run back into the building. There was an alien over there all along. That could have gone terribly wrong if one of the shots had hit one of these soldiers. It would have been awful. We're going to move people into positions of relative safety. Uh, by relative safety, I mean actually it's probably very safe for you to run over here. Just get out of the way right now. You definitely need to get out of the way. Where is uh, Sadwick? Sadwick needs to move over to here. I've got to be careful of the fact that we may now get flanked. Awesome Possum, you need to go over here and ready yourself for combat. AWESOME COMBAT! It will not be awesome at all. Deacon, you actually have a kill already. I'm just gonna have you go over here. You are going to become a squaddy. And who is the last person? That is a terrible place for you to stop. Keep going. And we're gonna have you keep going as well. Just go into that corner. And finally, Master Chief. I know that you may be keen to get into the action, Master Chief, but I'm keen for you not to die. So you're going to go over here and hide. There is one alien out there somewhere. And we're going to try and find that alien. Okay, that was a shot on the tank. Is the tank okay? The tank is fine. After all, it is a tank. Let's see if we can find this alien. Where is the alien? Over here somewhere? Okay, that's the edge of the map, which tells me that the alien is somewhere over here. Do we have something that we can throw light-wise? Not really is the answer. Awesome Possum has something, but do I dare risk Awesome Possum in a, a throw of a light source? Not right now, I don't. I definitely don't want to right now. I want to end the turn and see where these shots are coming from. The shots have stopped. Oh, that's really bad. I don't want the shots to stop. I want them to keep going. We want to move the tank. Actually, we just want to fire the tank right now. I think we want to fire it over about here. We want to make a passageway for us to move forward. By blowing up a wall, we have found the alien. It's right there. Really should have turned around, shouldn't I? Oh yes, should have turned. Can we see the alien from here? Maybe we could see the alien if we were upstairs, though. Oh, we could see the alien if we were upstairs. Let's go upstairs, shall we? We'll just uh, have you go over to here. It's going to take a lot of your uh, turn, but we'll have you pop up. We really need you to keep moving. Get to somewhere relatively safe. That's about as safe as it's going to get. If we have you go over here, you'll be far safer because there's no window that uh, the alien could use to shoot through. Let's end the turn. Okay, that was a direct hit. That was also a direct hit. But is the tank okay? Tanky, speak to me! You've taken some damage, but that's all right. That's fine. We could have you move over here, Nico. Can you see the alien? You can see the alien. Take your shot. Those were terrible shots. Move away. We need somebody else up there. We definitely need somebody else. Uh, then again, then again, I was about to say there isn't a second window. We've kind of made a second window. We could get Angel to take a shot. Can Angel actually see the alien from here? No. If Angel can't see the alien, Angel's not taking a shot. Awesome Possum could take a shot, though. Is it a good idea? When has it ever been a good idea to take a shot at an alien? We're going to do it anyway. All right, go! Wow, that was bad. Time for you to hide. We don't want to lose this tank, though, so we're probably just going to shoot the alien. A fine shot! The alien is not dead. The alien's still alive! Okay! You're gonna keep shooting the tank? Please don't blow up tank! Tank is still okay! Good! 
Nice to see the tank can still take a few hits. We'll have you move over to here. And you can now shoot the alien some more. More auto shots. One of these is bound to hit. That one hit. The alien is gone. Aha! The UFO is recovered. We took out quite a lot of aliens. We also gained some alloys. That's what I was hoping we gained. Some Illyrium. And we also took out four aliens. We also recovered some corpses and some artifacts. Excellent. We also couldn't re-equip the electro flare and the smoke grenades. That's fine. Mission accomplished, which is good. We need those plus ratings. We also need this uh, thing to get back very quickly. We probably want to buy some more of the uh, things that we lost. Mainly we want to buy some more of the, uh, let's see. We want some more smoke grenades, definitely, and we want an electro flare. Marvelous. We also want to sell some things, because let's face it, we're not going to be using a lot of the things that we have. I think it's safe to say we're not going to be using the rifles anymore. We are done with the rifles. We'll sell them. We'll also sell some of these. Did we see we found an alien with a plasma pistol? Well, that's fine, because uh, we'll just sell all of this. There we go. We could also sell some of these floater corpses. Gain a little more money. There we go. We also have some mine probes. We could sell one of them. Why not? Gives us even more coin. Time to wait now and see what happens. Time passing is what's going to happen, and we also gain those things there. Might as well equip the craft with them. Let's see, we want to have an electro flare, and we also want to have... I... yeah, I think we should have a full complement of medkits. It seems like a smart idea. We also want some more smoke grenades. Actually, we only really want one smoke grenade per person. There we go, four small rockets, one tank. Seems good! And is anyone... Ah, Nico is wounded, so we can't actually have Nico in the uh, squad right now. Nico is going to be out for 11 days. You know what that means? That means we need to purchase another soldier. Or we would if we actually had space in the uh, living quarters, which we don't. So we have to wait a few days. That's fine, though. Those living quarters are about to be finished. Very important that they're finished because we're going to be recruiting a lot more scientists and a lot more engineers. We're also going to be recruiting some more soldiers. About five. There we go. That means that if we want to, we could take the tank and we could uh, decide to remove it and replace it with soldiers instead. We want to uh, not sell. And we also want to only manufacture another... Let's go... Uh, let's stop production here. We want to manufacture another four of these. Let's see. Let's uh, go to engineers allocated 20. We want to manufacture four laser pistols because we may have more people in the uh, Sky Ranger at a later date. It won't take very long. It'll take even less when we get more scientists and more engineers. Personal armor has been completed. This is very important. Using the newly discovered alien alloys, this new armor gives our men a fighting chance against the alien threat. Very important that we uh, research that. Now that we can manufacture it, we're going to. We're going to allocate some manufacturing to this. We're going to uh, manufacture a lot of it. We can manufacture 10 suits right now quite comfortably. And we will, as soon as we finish manufacturing these uh, few laser pistols. There is a small UFO. It is low to the ground, and it is uh, over there. We want to take this out, imminently. So let us launch the interceptor, and see if we can take out this UFO. We have lost it. We're going to go to the last known UFO position and see if we can find where it is. There it is. Intercept it again. We want to intercept it with, uh, oh, we accidentally sent out the uh, Sky Ranger, didn't we? We want to actually return that to base. That was a little silly. Ah, it's landed, it's landed. That's really good. We want to, re let's see, return to base for the moment. We really need to uh, take a look at our position here. We have one wounded squaddy. We're just going to have to see what we can do with uh, dealing with this. So let us intercept. We'll keep that there just in case it takes off. We're going to intercept with the Sky Ranger. We can send it out even though it's refueling. I have uh, changed that option so that we can force our um, craft to go out if we need to. Laser pistols have been manufactured. Good! 
Manufacture as many suits of that as you possibly can. It's going to take 16 days. Oh dear, it's taken off. Right, we're going to have to shoot it down now. We're using aggressive attack so that we can uh, close the distance. And we're taking damage. The missile missed. The missile didn't miss there. And the uh, UFO is outrunning our interceptor. This isn't good, but on the other hand, it's not too bad. And the interceptor is low on fuel. Oh dear, we're going to have to intercept this with a different interceptor. Fortunately, we have Interceptor 2 ready to go. And we may be shooting this down over the water. Not good, because then that means we don't recover anything. Because it's lost to the sea. And it crash landed. That's good, we get points for taking out the UFO. That is better than nothing. And in a way, I sort of didn't want to fight that mission. I would have liked to have fought it, but taking out a UFO is a result. Now, where are all of our... Aha! Here are all of our people. We're now going to allocate a lot more people to research here. There we go. We now have 40 people allocated to that, and more importantly, we now have 40 people, or 38, allocated to this. That means it's going to go twice as quickly. That's very important. We're now just going to wait, very patiently. Days go by. A long time. Autosaves happen. And we need to name those soldiers. I've just realized we need to name these five soldiers. What are we going to name these five soldiers? Well, I think it's finally time that we get Shopkeeper in on the action. Welcome aboard, Shopkeeper. We also want Loopy McGoopin. You may have avoided the original squad, but now you are here. Who else do we also want? We also want number nine here. Welcome aboard, number nine. And who else do we want in the squad? Hmm, tricky. Who else do we want? There are lots of names that I could pick. There are lots of characters that I could decide. Well, we can't leave without our buddy Superfly, can we? No, we cannot, and there is one person that we can name. One more person. Hmm. It's a tricky, tricky choice. We're going to have Terry Coleman. Welcome aboard, Terry Coleman, to the XCOM squad. We're going to allocate one of you at the moment to the Sky Ranger. Lucky you, shopkeeper! You get to be on the Sky Ranger for the moment. While we wait for something to happen. I hope that something is not going to be a terror mission. It might very well be a terror mission. The hours go by, the days tick over. Note one thing about terror missions. Much like any other kind of mission, they are initiated with a UFO. If you are lucky, you can detect that UFO. If you are really lucky, you can shoot down the UFO. That said, a terror mission UFO is extremely fast and very well armed and armored. But if you have a interceptor capable of doing it, you can avert the terror mission. The game doesn't then launch something else that will then start a terror mission. What do I want to build here? I don't really want to build anything right now. I just want to wait and see what happens. Personal armor has been manufactured. We actually want more suits of personal armor, which means that we need to uh, get, we'll put as many as we can to this, we need to get a few more of the alloys. We actually only need about 20, which really won't take that long, two days. We want to uh, allocate all of this armor. We want to allocate it all. Personal armor, excellent. Personal armor for you. Personal armor for you. Even the rookies get armor. Why? Because they're not going to survive long outside of rookiedom if they don't have armor. So uh, let's see, who else needs armor? Uh, Deacon definitely needs armor because you have uh, done quite well. Sadwick also needs armor. There we go. And uh, Gaston 2, you also need armor. Master Chief, you also need armor. And Shopkeeper, there's no armor left for you. That's okay. We're going to make some more. We're definitely going to make some more. Let's double check that everybody has armor. We have quite a lot of uh, soldiers here. Maybe we need to get another five more of the... Uh, yeah, we need another five more of this. There we go. Let us just let time move forward. We have finished the research on laser rifles. The laser rifle is a more powerful and accurate version of the earlier pistol design. We can now uh, research heavy lasers. 
but I'm actually going to research motion scanners next, because, uh, it's not a bad piece of tech to have. We could also manufacture laser rifles. Good thing too, probably gonna need to at some point. Let's, uh, just let time move forward. There we go. We actually want to allocate manufacturing to laser rifles imminently. We want as many laser rifles as we can get before we get to the next terror mission, because there will be another terror mission. It's just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Let us let time move forward. And when we come back, folks, we will continue our efforts to get our uh, troops to a position where we can turn the tables somewhat. Laser rifles are better than laser pistols, and the armor will give our soldiers that much more survivability that we may even be able to take a shot without suffering uh, fatal wounds. Maybe, just maybe, we can finally take on the aliens on a more level footing. Okay, who am I kidding? That's not going to happen. But it might. And maybe in March, we might build a base over here. A small base, just for uh, detecting UFOs. It's worth a try. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.